Magnum packing Patriots, can you dig it? You're watching the Tap Rack Bang Show. I'm Ryan Frazier riding shotgun with me as always is the tactical tackle himself, Tyler Witzke. Tyler, you Stone Cold Fox, what up? Got a lot of talked about today. That's what I'm saying. As always, we invite all of our viewers to be a pro gun bully today. So if you want to put an unnecessary question mark in Joe Biden's teleprompter and make him look like a fool. Damn it. Who typed a question mark on the teleprompter? Go ahead and hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and smash the bejesus out of that Liberty Bell to sound the alarm of freedom every time a tap rack bang show drops. And while you're at it, go ahead and make sure you got your notifications turned on. Yeah, and don't forget to visit all the links down in the description. Become mm. a frontline defender. Um, help out our foundation. A lot of lawsuits happening. Lots of good stuff. Mm-hmm. So go and help them out. And uh, don't forget to get your free tap rack bang sticker. Boom. Absolutely free. Just tell us where to send it. So send it. With that, let's get started. Yeah. So the uh, topic du jour in Congress for quite a while now has been assault weapons bans or so-called assault weapons. I call it semi-auto ban because that's essentially what it is. But um, we're kind of looking through some of the other whack bills in there, and it seems the Democrats have a, a backup plan if they can't get their assault weapons ban passed the 60 vote requirement for the Senate filibuster. And it's a nasty little bill called HR 8051, also known as the Assault Weapons Excise Act. And what this stupid evil bill does is put a 1000% tax on what the government deems as an assault weapon. And because it's a tax, it only requires a 51 vote simple majority in the U.S. Senate. Yeah, exactly. And it also includes that 1,000% tax on what they call high-capacity magazines. So Regular-ass magazines. Yeah, standard-capacity like magazines. Rams. And it also creates a carve-out for government employees, military, police. So I know a lot of you guys are pissed off at the IRS. Now they're going to have the, the carve-out for these assault weapons and high-capacity magazines. Mm-hmm. So... It's the it's the regular old little guy that's that's getting crapped on with this bill. Well, yeah, it's uh, so it was introduced by um, Representative Don Bayer of Virginia. Obviously, he's a Democrat, but um, you know that these people who have the money to be protected by men with guns just want to price out the little guy, as you said. So, what, what's a normal AR these days? Between five hundred and a grand, yeah, somewhere you could go. You could go more expensive. You can go yeah. cheaper, but. $500 AR-15 becomes a $5,500 AR-15, totally pricing out ordinary Americans, small business owners live, who operate in bad neighborhoods, the single mother with a violent ex-spouse, like, yeah. the people who actually need it. Yeah, exactly. And I mean, it also exempt, I, I mean, doesn't exempt, but uh, some pistols would be included in this mm-hmm. under the assault weapons ban. So I imagine they're going to use the same bill text for that. I haven't read the bill text yet, but you know, your your semi-auto shotguns. You know, it's it's a semi-auto ban, but yeah, not really banned. But they're getting taxed like crazy. Yeah, pricing out the people who need it the most. But meanwhile, you know, millions of dollars to modernize the Taliban military. We're all about that. <laughs> Freaking! We've all seen the the new up armed version of the IRS loaded yeah. for bear, looking like a SWAT team now. So they're carved out, they're protected, they get their guns. But it just goes to show these politicians. It's always been about control, and they really do hate ordinary Americans. And this is exactly what it is. This is the most regressive tax I've ever heard of in my life. They call themselves progressives, but how do you justify this? It's it's completely ridiculous. Yeah, I I agree a hundred percent and. Luckily, there's no Republicans on the bill yet for, as co-sponsors. Mm-hmm. They're all Democrats, but there doesn't know. need to be. Yeah, exactly. Be- because it only takes 51 Senate votes. That's, yeah, that's true. That's Kamala's 50 the Democrats. Kamala is the tiebreaker. So if this gets momentum and, you know, we used to think maybe, you know, Manchin's the guy that would stave off something like that. But recent um, packages that have passed with his support that he said he would never support goes to show that. No politician can be trusted, and especially a wishy-washy gun grabber like Joe Manchin. Yeah, that's a very good point. And, I mean, it it just goes to show how much more real this is than the assault weapons ban. And Yeah, and when they're um, rushing massive spending bills through Congress, like 
obviously will all, national association for gun rights will always be on the alert to make sure they don't try and do a trojan horse type of thing and throw this in a big omnibus or something like that because i totally see that as oh, one, yeah. one of their trick plays that they've used time and time again and frankly it's worked for them absolutely so um, but yeah obviously this thing's horrible it craps on ordinary americans and you, you think about if, if if this bill came actually dropped or was introduced in June in response to Uvalde and some other tragedies. But if you're out there, if you're an evildoer who's trying to commit one of these atrocities, five thousand dollars really isn't a stop action to that. Like no. you'd sell your car and still buy a gun. And now it's like, hey, there's less chance that someone's going to return fire with a rifle. <laughs> right. Because exactly. if your goal is to get go out there and kill yourself or get arrested or and kill as many people, is what's five grand? What's ten grand? Doesn't exactly. matter. You're you're, you're going Can't in the grave. The or grave. Yeah, exactly. Just take out a loan. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, personal take, loan. Yeah, per, personal loan to you know that you never intend on buying back. So this this whole cockamamie bill is completely whack. But the fact that it's a like a fifty one vote in the Senate threat, like we're going to absolutely take it seriously. So we've been putting the, um, our assault weapons ban petition in the description box. We'll make sure that's in there the, for this video. If you haven't signed it yet, please do so. Um, we will deliver all of your petitions to your senators and reps. We take that very seriously. We don't just gather petitions for the sake of it. We deliver them and they do actually work. Absolutely. Um, Another thing I was thinking about here is the black market that it would also create. Oh, Again, like yeah. it only affects the law abiding, you know, criminals and, you know, s street gun dealers will continue. I mean, they'll just make way yeah. more money, but the law abiding folks won't be able to effectively defend themselves. Yeah, exactly. And criminals don't care, you know, murder is already mm -hmm. illegal. Yeah. So this just hurts law abiding citizens, especially those who live in poor neighborhoods, mm -hmm. that kind of thing. Yeah. So. But as you all know, the National Association for Gun Rights won't sit idly by while they try and push this crap. We will fight this tooth and nail. You can bet your ass on that one. But if they manage to sneak it through, I think I came up with an invention on how we beat this one. Oh, yeah? So every gun store becomes a gum store. <laughs> and for the purchase of one $500 stick of gum, you get a free AR-15. Hell, Yeah. So there's 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 how we beat them. Hopefully it doesn't get to that point, but that's yeah. I think that's my trick play. So. Yeah, and if it does get to that point, we're obviously <laughs> gonna have legal challenges. Oh yeah, as well. and yeah. Thanks to the Supreme Court's recent decisions, if they even try this crap, we will sue their ass yeah, so hard. You, you can't tax a right, and yeah, I mean, we could even lump in you know the NFA into that lawsuit or whatever. Because yeah, no kidding. I mean, you have to pay a tax stamp to own a suppressor, which is a firearm accessory. Mm -hmm. Safety or, feature. Yeah, exactly. Or to short barreled. Yeah, have a short barreled rifle, have a short barreled mm -hmm. shotgun. You know, we just had the 30th anniversary of Ruby Ridge. You know, that mm -hmm. was all over short barrel shotguns. Pause up, don't shoot. Exactly. Hashtag. Pause Hashtag up. FYATF. <laughs> <laughs> so. Yeah, I kind of lost my train of thought there, but yeah, the whole thing is completely whack. It caused black markets. Criminals would still have guns. Evil doers would still have guns. It's entirely designed to attack the law abiding American gun owner. And it is a legit threat that we will be fighting tooth and nail. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so yeah, anything else to add to that one? I don't think so. It's just like they talk about, you know, Daniel defense, you know, they, they got some pretty high end stuff. I know you got mm -hmm. one. I love mine. And they they talk about the Uvalde shooter, how his rifle was one thousand eight hundred and seventy dollars, but under this bill, it would have been ten thousand dollar rifle. They, they say eighteen thousand seven hundred. Plus, they didn't include the price of the gun, which you schooled me on earlier yeah, yeah. before we started filming. You're still paying for a pretty expensive. So that, that's piece. A, that's a twenty thousand dollar gun right there. Mm hmm. So, yes, yeah. whack. Exactly. Yeah. So. All right. Well. So if you haven't already, be sure to sign your no assault weapons ban petition. But we're going to go ahead and wrap up, keep this this show nice and short for you guys. But as always, we got to jump in and do a little T-shirt time. It's T-shirt time. Hell yeah. We're giving away. We still are. We got lots of them. NAGR Hell No Joe shirts. Last week, we asked our viewers, at what range does one mil equal one meter and the correct answer is 1000 meters 
A couple wow. people said yards, but for the way we posed it, we didn't use freedom units. We used communist meters. <laughs> and the answer is 1,000 meters or one kilometer, if you're fancy like that. Um, so we'll go ahead and contact our winner from last week and make sure we get them a dope-ass NAGR Hell No Joe t-shirt. If you want to be a winner this week, you can answer my question. As you see, we got our sweet Tommy gun, our, our little Chicago typewriter chilling behind us. And I want to know where that name came from. Who was Tommy and why is the gun named after him? Yeah. If you can comment below in the YouTube comments, you could win yourself a dope ass Hell No Joe t-shirt. Hell yeah. One last order of business. Um, as you know, we already give away more than any pro gun show on YouTube, be it yeah. free stickers, free shirts, all kinds of swag. But we're doubling our shirt giveaway moving forward. What? Yeah. So as you may have noticed, I think I'm kind of scraping the bottle of bottom of the barrel <laughs> as <laughs> I'm probably scraping the bottle a little bit too. scraping the bottom of the barrel as far as um, bullying Biden at the beginning of the show. So I need y'all's help. If you have ideas of how we can bully Biden every week. Go ahead and leave a comment. If we use your idea to bully Biden, we will also send you a free shirt. So get creative. Probably don't advocate full on violence, but yeah. let's let's get weird with it. Yeah, PG-13. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll <laughs> sift to the ones that we think we can get away with. And if we use yours, we'll send you a shirt as well. And with that, I think we're going to call it a day. Yeah, absolutely. So don't, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit that Liberty Bell so you're notified every every time a new tap rack bang drops. And don't forget to visit all the links down in the description. Sign your assault weapons ban petition. Help out our foundation. Become a Frontline Defender member today. <laughs> and lastly, get your free sticker. That's what I'm talking about. And with that, we'll see ya. See ya. Yeah. See ya. <laughs> <laughs>